What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Rumor has it, my boy Mahershala Ali as Blade, Eric Brooks, the Daywalker, the half-breed, is going to be making an appearance in Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke's Disney Plus series, Moonlight, which I am so excited. Look, I don't, look, you guys, we're in the world of the supernatural. We are in the world of supernatural, so things are going to look very different, and I'm hoping very dark-ish. Because I want to see a very different tone when we're talking with the world of the supernatural in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Moon Knight has encountered vampires. Moon Knight has went up against Dracula. So it only makes sense if a Mahershala Ali's Blade would make an appearance in this series. And I like that because I was afraid, you know, damn, we got to wait to see Blade in the Blade movie. Probably won't drop until 2023. Long time by now, right? They're still working on the script. I know they probably won't start shooting that movie till maybe next summer. But if they're going down the route of the Civil War route of having Spider-Man, having Black Panther make their introductions into a film or a series or whatever, and then have their own solo movies, the Spider-Man Homecoming and Black Panther, I am completely fine with that. I think it's a brilliant idea. It gets the fans even more hyped for their solo project. So if they decide to go down that route, you guys, this is some exciting shit. I cannot wait for Blade. I, I, I'm in love with the character. I loved those first two movies. I, I'm still hoping, fingers are crossed, fingers are crossing that Marvel Studios gives Wesley Snipes a role in this movie. And if I'm a Herschel Ali, I'm demanding Wesley Snipes. Because if it wasn't for that first Blade movie, Marvel's, the MCU wouldn't have existed. Blade saved them from being bankrupt. So yes, we all stand up for a round of applause for Blade. So I'm really hoping Wesley Snipes has some kind of involvement with this movie, you guys. That would be so freaking awesome to see. I just cannot wait, man. I, I, like I said, I'm a little bit worried for the rating that it's still being PG-13. Because, you know, I, I definitely think when you're dealing with vampires and stuff like that. And, like, to go down the R, the R rating, I feel like it's, it's more necessary. You know what I'm talking about? Like, how just how Deadpool 3 is going to be R-rated. Like, why not throw, you know, different other different films in that category as well like under your Marvel Knights or whatever and have that be your dark universe kind of kind of you know format why not like come on you know just don't have Deadpool be you know R-rated you can have other R-rated you know characters you know under that same category and I definitely do think that Blade should not be watered down to fit the certain narrative or audience I don't think that should happen you know what I mean what made the first film so great was, you know, that they went all out with the bloodbath scenes and stuff like that. You know, it's just, the R rating definitely helped that film. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, Marvel Studios really, they, I'm hoping they change their mind, you guys. But I cannot wait to see, you know, Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight. You know, his second shot, his redemption role as a comic book character. Because we all know, we all remember him from, you know, X-Men Apocalypse as, you know, Apocalypse. Brother was like 5'11", small as hell with some heels on. I was like, bro, for real? Apocalypse is supposed to be like over seven feet tall. Like, what's going on here? Gosh, man. That movie had so much potential, but it just it, it fell flat on every single level. It really did. Um, so I'm happy for Oscar Isaac. I cannot wait to see him really pick up the mantle and, you know, for, not pick up the mantle, but start the mantle for Mark Spector, you guys. You know, it's going to be such, such an awesome thing to see. Cannot wait to see the first reveal. Disney Plus Day is coming up very soon. You know, and there's rumors and talks about how they're going to be showing all their upcoming projects, first looks, um, everything that they've been working on Marvel. So, you have we're probably going to first look at, you know, Miss Marvel. Um, Hawkeye is already coming out in November. We'll probably get a first look at She-Hulk, Moon Knight. So, everything that's, you know, currently being worked on for the Disney Plus series and possible um, more announcements as well. Because uh, Victoria Alonzo, one of the executive producers that over at Marvel Studios, confirmed that they are working over 30 projects. That's being, you know, films and television shows. So that's massive and huge, you guys. But damn, you guys, this is a fun rumor to talk about. Like I said, you know, the, the fact that we keep get an interaction between, you know, Blade and Moon Knight and possible Rise of the Midnight Suns with Ghost Rider. Oh, my God, Ghost Rider. Johnny Blaze. I'm still hoping we go down the Johnny Blaze route, introduce him first, and then eventually, you know, switch up whatever you want to do with that. But damn, an interaction. I just cannot wait to see the first look as Marshall Ali as Blade, you guys. If this is true, that means my brother's already been working out. He's already been, he's, his fighting game is already up. He's, he knows, we know, they, we, they got the costume down already. 
You know, I'm really hoping that my brother has his hair. You know what I'm saying? Give him the, give him the high top fade. Like, I need that hair. I wasn't the biggest fan of the, you know, the bald version of Blade, but I'm really hoping we kind of have that similar look to Wesley Snipes' Blade because that shit was perfect. Spot on. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Mahersha Ali's Blade being rumored to appear in the Moon Knight series next year. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. Post your comments down below. Peace.